Today I'm going to show you guys something that's going to make a lot of you very happy. Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. So today we're looking at a new app. And the part that's going to make you guys happy is that for the first time, this really awesome functionality is coming to Android. And it's something that Android users like myself have been wanting for a long, long time. Now, that being said, let's get into it. Today we're looking at the InVision AI app. So what exactly is it? It is an app that is very, very similar to Seeing AI. If you're familiar with that, it was this revolutionary app that was brought out by Microsoft. I did a video about it, I've done a couple videos actually. I will link those in the description down below. But this app that we're talking about today, InVision AI, brings the same functionality as Seeing AI, but like I said, it's on Android as well. And now, there's a caveat. As of recording this video, it's still in beta on Android. The app is working on iOS, uh, more or less, and we'll get to that in a second. But <laughs> it's still in beta on Android. Okay, enough talking about it. Let's launch the app. Big keyboard low vision. That's not the right app. Envision. There it is. <laughs> okay, so it has a very simple layout, which is great, you know, for visually impaired, especially if you're using a screen reader. That's what you want. You want a simple layout. On the iOS version, which is what we're looking at today, the tabs are at the bottom, which is very standard for iOS. So let's go through the tabs first. Selected text tab we're one in, and four. We're in the text tab. Next. General tab two of four. General. Sc and, and find tab three of four. Scan and find. And then finally. Help tab four of four. Let's listen to that one again. Sc and help tab help. four of four. <laughs> I don't know why it says it like that, but that's very funny to me. Okay, back on the text. Selected text tab. One and four. You have three options in this. Uh, actually, more than just three, but we'll look at the three here at the bottom first. Start reading instantly. Button. Instant reading. Um, read handwritten text. Button. Read handwritten text and... Read document. Button. A document reader. So those are your three text reading options. One thing I would like to point out on this screen, though, is they also give you a magnifier. So let's look at something here. We'll look at our uh, Halloween card. You've probably seen it in another video before, but... Magnifier button. So I'm going to click on that. Selected. Magnif... Zero percent. Adjustable. And we get a little slider here. Ten percent. Twenty percent. Let's look at her eye. Thirty percent. There we go. Twenty percent. Ten percent. Zero percent. So, they give you a little built-in magnifier. That's pretty awesome. And if I open this up so we can see the text here, there's another option here. Let's zoom 10%. in a little bit. Invert colors button. Invert colors. We can invert the colors. And it does a fairly decent job of inverting. It's not the highest contrast invert, but that's all right. So that's pretty cool. Nice little addition that you don't find on other apps. So let's try out the text reading. And this is the instant text reader. Start reading instantly. And you have, you have to click on it. Stop reading Halloween instantly. Fact number 73. Life is better with a sugar buzz. Halloween fact number 73. Life is better with... So there you go. She got it. She read it. And what's nice is I can just turn it off by unclicking that uh, read it instantly button. Now she's not reading everything that I point her at, which always drove me crazy about the other app. Read handwritten text button. So now on this, also on this Halloween card, I've got a little handwritten note here that I wrote. And so I always say, if it can read uh, blind handwriting, you know it's going to be pretty good. So let's test it out. I haven't tried this yet, so this will be new for both of us. So let's try it out. So the way this works is you click the button and it takes a picture. Read handwritten text. Selected. Read handwritten text. All right. Took a picture and now it's processing. Hello everyone, I hope this works. Live. All right, it got, it got almost all of it. Hello everyone, I hope this works. And then the last word was Sam. So it got the last word wrong, but it got everything else right. That's pretty good. 
All right, so now let's test the document reader. I just have a, a book here that I want to read the cover of. And uh, so let's click the document button. Read document button. And when you click on it. Take photo. Oh, left edge is not visible. Puts a little frame on the screen bottom here that you want to try and line up if you can. But she's bottom also. Right edge is not visible. She's also giving us audio cues. Bottom and left edge is not visible. Now bottom I'm just, edge is visible. Processing. She took the picture automatically. I didn't even do it. Processing. We get the music. Back button text. Back button. 2018. 19. Statement on expectations. And responsibilities. Code of conduct student guide. Addy kids. This is all English on the front of the book here. Uh, and it's strange that this is in an accent. And responsibilities. And that one isn't. Statement on expectation. So we turned off voiceover and you have media control buttons down here at the bottom. So if I press the play button. 2018 to 2019. Statement on expectations and responsibilities. Code of conduct student guide. Abby Kit. Okay, so we get a little highlight too as it's going along there. And when the app itself was reading it, it read it fine. So that's something voiceover was doing, adding that accent there. I don't know why, but the app itself got it perfectly. So let's go to the next tab. General, tab, two of four. Describe scene, button. So the first one is describe scene. Detect colors, button. Detect colors. Scan barcode, button. Scan barcode. So let's do detect scene. Describe scene. Or describe button. scene real quick. And um, we'll see what it says here. This might give it some difficulty because it's a strange scene. Describe scene. Dimmed. Looks like a tripod in a room. Oh, I got it. Tripod in a room. Excellent. Save image with description. Button. You can save the image. Describe scene. But describe scene. Detect colors. Button. All right. Well done. So let's try and detect colors. I've got this book of uh, craft paper here and it has a bunch of different colored pages. So I thought that would work really well. So let's just randomly pull out a color and see what it does. Detect colors. Selected. Detect colors. Warm gray. Grayish brown. Grayish brown. Dark brown. Dark brown. Okay. Dark brown. Cement. So it sees my grayish. table there, which is grayish. Silver. Brownish gray. Brownish gray. Brownish gray. Gray brown. Whenever you put it on Silver. a color, you kind of want to leave it there a little bit Very to, to let it uh, register. Very light pink. Very light pink. Baby <laughs> brown. Baby <laughs> brown. Warm gray. <laughs> light gray. Oh my lord, I didn't Silver. know. Silver. Detect colors. Okay. Um, wow. <laughs> I <laughs> I did not. That surprised me. I didn't expect it to have that in its vocabulary. Um, yeah. I am at a loss for words. So I'm going to bleep that in the editing. Um, okay. Moving on. <laughs> scan barcode. Button. We'll try to scan the barcode. So I have a uh, container of downy fabric softener here. We'll see what this does. Now this, the way this works is it should auto detect the barcode and automatically scan it. So I'm just going to point it at the back. Product it, not found. Product not found. Okay, so it beeped and I got a little ding sound effect letting me know that it had registered the barcode. So that was nice. I didn't have to turn it or anything. Uh, but it says product not found. So let's try this. I also have, don't ask me why, but I've, I've got a filter for my vacuum that was just lying on the table over there. So we'll try that. Um, I'm not expecting it to actually register it. I would be surprised if it did. Enviro Care 3. Thistle Bagless Upright Vacuum Cleaner Style 8 slash 14 Heat Depleted Micro Post Motor Exhaust Filter. I got it! Zero, three, wow. six, six, zero, eight, 
Okay, I'm going to pause that because it's, it's reading information about it. But, oh, that's awesome. It got it. Now, underneath there... More information. More information. If you click on that, it just does a web search for that product. Uh, it takes you to a Google page and does a web search. So if you wanted to order more um, of this product or look up information, you can do that. Okay, the next one is Scan and Find. And on that one, we have... Recognize Custom Objects button. Recognize custom objects. Recognize common objects. Recognize button. common objects. Teach and vision button. And teach and vision. So this one is unique. Um, this has some features that the other apps don't. And that's pretty cool. Now I will say I'm having difficulty with these today. But we'll see how it goes now. Recognize, recognize common objects. We'll go to recognize common objects. Recognize common objects. And we'll see if it recognizes my Paper. coffee mug. Paper. Cup. Cup. They got it. Cup. Let's see if it recognizes Table. this thing. Sky. Tableware. Chair. Chair. No, it sees the chair. It sees the legs in the background of the Sky. tripod. So it Recognize says common objects. Saying chair. So in my opinion, they still needs a little work on this. Uh, it's it's very hit or miss. Then you have recognize custom objects. So you can teach Envision to recognize certain things. So to do that, you go in. Teach Envision button. Teach Envision button. Teach and, and, and find back button. Okay. And once again, very simple layout, which I like that. What would you like to teach? Hit teach a face button. Teach an object button. You can teach a face. And this is basically training it to recognize certain things. So you can teach a, a person's face or you could teach an object. Then you also have the gallery, library. or the library. library, excuse me. What would you like to teach? And these Bad are the button. different objects that you've already t taught. Library. So let's go back library. and we'll see how button. well it does. Recognize custom objects, button. Recognize custom object, recognize custom objects. Okay, let's try. Alert, alert. Something went wrong. Please try again. Okay, button. So this has been crashing, this feature, on my iPad uh, recently. It was working this morning. I, I taught it to recognize my face, and it was working. I tested it out. It was working fine. I trained it to recognize a pair of scissors, and I think that's something went wrong in that process. It took a long time for the, the process to complete, and then ever since then, the, that feature has been crashing. So it looks like there's a bug there that they need to work on. But I've told them about that bug and they're going to get right on that to see what's going on there. Finally, let's go into the help tab. Help. Heading. Help. And this is basically where the settings are and all of that. Help. Read tutorials. Button. Tutorials. Give feedback. Button. Feedback. So if anything goes wrong, you can send feedback in. That's great. Request a call. Button. Get a call from them. Settings. Heading. Here's your settings. Offline text recognition. So you have an option to turn on offline recognition as well. Automatic language detection. Speech. Button. Color detection. Button. Account. Heading. Account details. Button. Check subscriptions. Free trial. Button. Spread the word. Heading. Share with friends. Button. Write a review on App Store. But about InVision. So there you go, guys. That was a look at InVision AI. Pretty awesome. And as I said, the greatest part is that it is going to be available on Android. So you're going to have all this functionality on Android. Now, I know the number one question is, is this a free app or how much does it cost? And no, unfortunately, it is not a free app. The InVision team, uh, they're a small team. They don't have the unlimited resources like Microsoft does to put out a free app uh, as awesome as this. So they have to charge for it in order to keep the development going. And that's something I do want to point out also. This thing gets updated all the time. So as I said, those couple little bugs that we experienced, they're going to get worked out very, very soon. But what does it cost? That's what you're wondering. So a monthly subscription is $5. A six month subscription is $25. One year subscription is $40. Or a lifetime subscription, use it indefinitely for the rest of your life, $200.
So I think it's pretty great. I hope you guys do too. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much to the Envision AI team for getting in touch with me and helping me with this video. Definitely whenever the Android version is up and running, fully running, I will make a video about that as well. If you guys have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to help out. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the videos coming out in the future. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to check out the Blind Life shirts on Amazon. Link in the description below. Thanks guys. Sam with the Blind Life. We'll see you next time.